What is up noobs and noobettes, Charles Tingley here, back with another video. Welcome guys, today I'm going to be showing you all top 5 class setups in Black Ops 3. Firstly, I'm going to be showing you guys classes for game modes that mainly need you to kill people, so team deathmatch, kill confirmed, free for all that kind of stuff, and then after that we'll focus on objective game modes. So let's get right into this. My first class is a run and gun class. This is the class I use when I want to kill as many people as possible pretty much. Got quick draw to snap those targets, grip to control the ridiculous fucking recoil, and I personally use stock but feel free to use laser sight, long barrel or extended mags, all really good options for this weapon. Definitely do not use rapid fire because it's already got a fast fire rate and it'll just make it too hard to control. Alrighty, I got afterburner so I can fly around everywhere like a monkey and yeah, it just allows me to be a difficult target pretty much. Got overclock to earn my ability or weapon faster to help with the killing. And um, next up we have fast hands, definitely essential in my opinion. And last but not least, got blast suppressor to silence all my flying as well as sliding. Next up we got our stealthy submachine gun class. If you want to use a submachine gun with a silencer, in my opinion the CUDA is the best one for this. And definitely slap on quick draw to snap those targets as well as suppressor obviously. And then I personally use extended mags but make sure you use grip if you can't control the weapon's recoil. Or long barrel and rapid fire also really good options. Alrighty, our third class is a stealthy assault rifle class. In my opinion the KM44 is really good with the suppressor. For some reason it feels like it doesn't uh, cop as much of a penalty when you put a suppressor on it uh, compared to the other assault rifles. Also make sure you put on quick draw to snap targets as well as grip to control the ridiculous recoil. This weapon has side to side as well as vertical recoil so pretty hard to control at times. Partner this stealthiness with Ghost and you'll stay off the UAV when there's... Uh, you, uh, oh, <laughs> I just confused myself there, you guys get what I mean. Also got fast hands. Hardwired because I like running around everywhere with this class and I hate being either tracked by tracker or six cents or even just getting hit by a shock charge or something so hardwired is definitely good and dead silence will help you stay stealthy next up we have a slaying assault rifle class the man of war is definitely in the top two assault rifles in the game guys so be sure to use it i've got elo red the red dot site obviously works too quick draw to snap targets grip to control the, rec uh, the recoil and i use long barrel it's a really good attachment for this weapon but Feel free to use rapid fire, fast mags, extended mags or high caliber, all really good options and yeah definitely high caliber guys it's a really good option for this weapon so check it out. Got this in case I run out of ammo or I'm in a close range gunfight and it just suits the situation better so I whip this bad boy out and just own that noob, even his friend too if he's around somewhere um like i said this class is for slaying and it's really good for holding off areas so i use overclock because i usually am able to chain a bunch of kills and it just helps me earn the specialist weapon quicker also got fast hands and tactical masks so people don't flush me out with their stuns and their flashbangs Alrighty, the last class i've got for killing game modes is the ma obviously guys this is the best weapon in the game in my opinion it's just overall really good at slaying, good at all ranges and yeah I got quick draw, stock as well as rapid fire which will allow you to put out a lot more bullets before you die so hopefully you kill that enemy in time. Got this for when I run out of ammo or close range situations and then got ghost because I run a lot with this, I run around a lot with this weapon and I want to remain stealthy from UAVs along with dead silence. This is a really good partnership. Alrighty, let's move on to objective game modes. So we got the VMP again, same attachments. Like I said guys, third attachment is your choice, but I personally find these two to be really useful. And uh, yeah, as you can see on this one, I have a Semtex. So if we have people on flags that you can't see, just toss that bad boy over and flush them out. Got flak jacket so you can catch flags yourself. And um, yeah, you won't be nated, which is really annoying, especially when you got like half a second left to cap. Got my overclock, because I will be jumping on objectives with this, I'll be able to earn my specialist weapon or ability quicker, which is awesome, and obviously got fast hands to be active in those gunfights after I've been sprinting. Alrighty, next up we have a run and gun assault rifle. I find this assault rifle really good, guys. Not many people realize how good the HVK is. Well, it's only good in its ranges, but 
obviously stick to those close to medium range uh, gunfights and you'll be really successful with this weapon i got quick draw grip the stock standard of course guys and then i got long barrel because this weapon isn't that great over range so it just gives it that little boost i would also recommend using a uh, laser sight it's really good with this weapon because of its fast fire rate you can just put a lot of weapons down range and also extended mags or fast mags are really good too I got this because the HVK has a really fast fire rate, so you run out of ammo quick. Also got these, especially if you're playing with friends, guys. You can just toss a couple of these bad boys on the flag and you guys won't get naded by both nades as well as flashbangs and that kind of stuff. Also got ghosts so I can run around undetected as well as fast hands to win those gunfights. Alrighty, next up we finally have a shotgun class guys. This is really good for clearing out rooms as well as objectives. Also knocking out the uplink wall carrier, the flag carrier and capture the flag, that kind of thing. Got the shotgun with a long barrel and laser sight. Both really good attachments so be sure to use them. Um, also have my RK5 for those longer range gunfights where the shotgun just won't suffice. Also guys, if you're any good with the Argus, feel free to switch it out with this KRM. Same attachments too. Um, that should be good. So yeah, be sure to use that. I'm not sure why I have that on. I should put a nade here. Anyways, yeah, got the nade there to flush people out of buildings or objectives, that kind of thing. Six cents because you'll always be in close range situations. Oh shit, my controller's dying. Um, and yeah, it's good to know where the enemies are. So yeah, got Ghost as well to go around undetected as well as Tac Mask so you don't cop it from like shock charges as well as random stun grenades. Alrighty, our second last class. It's a Man of War again. Except this time we have our Semtex to flush our enemies instead of the secondary. Also got Flak Jacket and Tactical Mask because this class is mainly used to hold off objectives as well as uh, key areas in the map so you don't want people flushing you out with nades when you're trying to hold a head glitch or a power position and last but not least again we got our m8 guys similar to before same attachments same secondary except this time again we have our flak jacket as well as our tactical mask so we don't get flushed out of those power positions these are my top five best classes in both killing game modes as well as objective game modes hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to drop a like it's much appreciated if you didn't enjoy it be sure to drop a dislike i don't mind guys but be sure to tell me why you disliked the video in the comment section if you have any questions about any of the classes i mentioned or your own class or any weapons you'd like to know at, uh like what attachments are good at them whatever let me know in the comment section that's all for now i'll talk to you guys very soon expect the video in the next couple of days until next time peace out noobs